I'm Joy, and today I'm going to share to you conversion from QuickBooks Desktop to QuickBooks Online. So, why would a client prefer using QuickBooks Online than QuickBooks Desktop? There are actually two main reasons for that. One is accessibility. When you have QuickBooks Online, since it's web-based, you can access your company data anytime, anywhere, as long as you have access to the internet. Second is, it's actually cheaper than QuickBooks Desktop. So it will be suitable for smaller businesses. But there are some things you have to be mindful of before converting to QuickBooks Online or QuickBooks Desktop. One is that only QuickBooks Pro or Premier 2014, 2013, and 2012 can migrate directly to QuickBooks Online. And even if you do have 2012 or 2013 version, you have to upgrade to the latest version. The second is, if you're using QuickBooks Enterprise or you have your multi-currency turned on, you can't actually convert directly to QuickBooks Online. So after knowing those two things, we now go into the things that we have to do pre-migration, during the migration, and post-migration. During pre-migration, you have to ensure that the file you're actually migrating is located into your laptop. Instead of it being saved in your remote drive, like or Dropbox. Second is you have to verify your data, resort your lists, and rebuild your company. Before rebuilding, you have to save your company data and then you can go on converting. The next is you have to run reports, balance sheet, PLs, trial balance, as of the date of your conversion. You will know the reason for this later on. So what do we do during migration? So, as I've told you, once you're in QuickBooks Pro or Premier 2014, you just have to go to Company, and at the bottom of the drop-down menu, there's Export QuickBooks Data to QuickBooks Online. Once you click on that, you'll be asked to sign in, or if you don't have it, an Intuit ID, you have to sign up. Once you're already signed in, you have to choose among those companies under that Intuit ID, and convert the data into the company. You just have to remember that whatever company you chose, the data will be overwritten. Now that you've chosen the QuickBooks company to convert into, you just have to wait 10 to 15 minutes and then Intuit will email you that your company QuickBooks Online is now ready for viewing. Once you've signed into your new QuickBooks company, you have to reconcile your banks and credit cards. Those data are not actually carried over to the new company. This is to ensure that whatever is migrated is complete. Next, you have to run your reports, balance sheet, PNL, and trial balance. You will then compare that to the previous reports you've generated from your previous QuickBooks company. This is to ensure that the data you have migrated is complete and clean. Another thing that you can do is enter your payroll data and other preferences like memorized reports and recurring transactions. Unsure about migration? Contact your accountant. Contact us and we will help.